Guys, why do I do this to myself? Why the fuck? So Firestarter is a new film that's based on the Stephen King novel of the same name, this one being the second remake after the Drew Barrymore film, which by the way, Full clarification, have not seen it. Or it's a reboot, honestly, I don't think it really matters either way. In the film, we follow a little girl named Charlie who is portrayed by Ryan Kara Armstrong, who lives with her parents, one of them portrayed by Zach Efron, and the other one played by Sidney Lemon, if I remember correctly. They're a family that has powers. Zach Efron's power is that he can do things in your mind. The mother's power is that she can do things by screaming. She essentially has a form of telekinesis. And the little girl, well, given the name of the movie, she is essentially a pyromaniac, she could start fires. When something happens at Charlie's school, it turns out that they have to go on the run. If certain people find this little girl, you can imagine what's gonna happen. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Firestarter. Excellent! The score of the movie is literally the saving grace. Well that's just fucking great! This movie is just... I don't know what the hell to say. I really don't. I mean, to say a pun here, because the movie starts with a title named Fire, this movie is a fucking bus fire. I really don't know what to say about the plot of this movie. I mean, the plot goes places, do not get me wrong, but the plot of this movie, it just wasn't really interesting whatsoever. It exists at ghost places, and I was never really emotionally involved. They have these powers, they're trying to get away from people, because if these people get a hold of them, then, well, you know, bad things are gonna happen. We have seen this plot multiple times beforehand, and rather than doing something with this plot and giving its own really cool take, given that, I don't know, it's a Stephen King story, it's bland, it's generic in all the worst ways, it's unengaging, it's not interesting, and my god, it is boring. The performances, it's not that they aren't good or anything, it's just that they're just, again, they're there. I think that Zac Efron is a great actor. Seriously, no joke, I think he's a great actor. Given the right script, the right directing, the right project, that guy is capable of giving a great performance. Zac Efron, I feel like, was given nothing to do, even though the relationship between him and his daughter is one of the most important aspects of the entire film. I just did not care about his character at all. Character development is given no time whatsoever, and if it is, it's the bare minimum of this movie, especially when it comes to Zac Efron's character, even more so with Ryan Kara Armstrong, as we do, which don't get all into a little bit. Honestly, God, he just seems like he's here for the paycheck, in all honesty. Sydney Lemon does the mother just, again, feels like she's given nothing to do in this movie. She's there, she exists, and that's all I can only really say about that. Here's what I'm gonna say about Ryan Kara Armstrong. I don't think she makes her break this film, but once again, she's just there. She's supposed to be the thing that you care about, and once again, like with Zac Gaffron, like with everybody else, I just did not care about her character in this movie at all. All. There's things that they try and do and give her some type of an arc or give her character emotional depth And when it seems like they're about to do it, they pull away before they could do anything about it There's a really pivotal scene involving her and an animal and basically Zach Gaffron to her is going like Well, you did this. You can't do this. You have to do this. It's just there and that's about it again There are these emotional scenes between her and her father in this movie and it's just, again, they go little by little, and they pull back before they can do anything in this. The screenplay. Oh my god, the screenplay of this movie. The screenwriter of the film is Scott Teams. The same guy who co-wrote Halloween Kills. I don't know if this was the first draft or a spec script, but let me tell you guys right now, it needed probably five more runs before they actually got to shoot this thing because what we have here, it feels like a first draft. It doesn't feel like a final shooting script. Something else I want to talk about is this, the genre of this film. What genre is Firestarter? Given that it's a Stephen King novel, well, an adaptation of a Stephen King novel, you think, I don't know, a horror flick. Um, 
It tiptoes as a horror genre for a split second before pulling out. It tries to be a drama for a split second. It pulls out. It tries to be a sci-fi film. It trickles in. It pulls out. It even tries to be an action film at one point. And again, it starts to tiptoe in. It pulls out again. This film has no idea what it wants to do at all. Because of it, this film is having such a bad genre cries of what, of what it wants to be. The best way I can describe Firestarter is this though. I don't know if y'all agree with me or not, but this is just how I feel about the film. Firestarter is essentially a discount carry meets discount X-Men in a way. Sorta of, kinda, of, but it feels like it's made for TV, but because it has Zach Gaffron, I guess, that's just my assumption. I'm just assuming, please correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Not only was it given a streaming release on Peacock, but it was also given a same day theatrical release in theaters as well. I decided to watch it on Peacock because I didn't want to travel to the movie theater, and I actually didn't pay for the ad free version of Peacock before I watched this movie. Why did I do that? Getting on to the runtime. Oh my god. This movie is about 90 minutes long. I watched this on Peacock because I didn't want to waste any gas going into the movie theater or one of my A-list reservations. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stay home, watch this at home. God, this film felt so long. Every 20 minutes, I kept hitting that pause button to see how far along I was because that is how boring this film is. The pacing just sucks. And here we go. So overall, Firestarter is bland as hell. No, I'll go even more so. The movie is just flat out terrible. This movie fails on every single front. Not only is it bland, it's generic as hell, it's uninteresting, it's boring as all can be. Firestarter lights a fuse, and that fuse just goes and goes and goes, but it doesn't light on fire nor does it have any ignition it just ends i was originally going to give this some a point two five out of five because john carpenter's music well the music he co-composed was the only saving grace but i'm never gonna really find myself listening to the score of this film so with all that being said guys all in all i am going to give firestarter a straight up Zero out of five. Don't go to the movie theater and don't watch this movie on Peacock. Just stay away, period. So comment down below and let me know. Out of all the Stephen King adaptations you have seen in the past, let's say, five to ten years, which one was the most disappointing one in your eyes? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I'm also on Snapchat. So if you want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links in the username the description below. I hope you all enjoyed my review of Firestarter. If so, please hit that like button, also subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for my latest review goes live. If you guys want to see any of my previous two videos, please click on the right there or right there. And of course, until my next review or video goes live, I'll see you all next time.